Hello friend, this is Sonom. Today in this video, we will discuss about Power Automate copy folder and files. So we will copy a folder. That means we will copy a folder including files from one document library to another document library using different type of different SharePoint site addresses. So here is the preview of the flow that we are going to create. To fulfill our requirement in this flow we are going to create a button flow using a manual trigger flow that will trigger the flow manually and also we will use another action to get folder and metadata it will help to get the information about the folder and then we will copy the once the, it will get that folder metadata uh, then we will copy that folder from source location source site address to destination site address so let's see how to create this flow within the power automate so here i just log in my microsoft tenant user id within the office 365.com then once it will open then let's go to that uh, app launchers and here we can find all the applications that integrated to the microsoft and within that we will uh, find that power automate click on that uh, ellipsis or you, if you are not going get get that application you can click on that all apps and it will open it will show you all the application so click on the ellipsis and click on and go to uh, that open in new tab so it will open in new tab so and also we will as we work with the SharePoint so I have just opened the SharePoint site as to the SharePoint so click on that SharePoint and here I just opened a two SharePoint site address one is for Sonom and uh, another one is SharePoint guide so uh, Sonom is my source SharePoint site address so within that source SharePoint site address I have a a uh, document library named file storage inside the document library i have a folder that name is files inside that files i have some full subfolders and with the subfolders inside the subfolders there are some files also image or you can insert any files so um the this is all about my source site address let's see um and uh, in the destination site address similarly i have created a document library named copy documents uh, so uh, as per our requirement we will create a flow that will copy that uh, copy that sharepoint folders and uh, files from source sharepoint site address to destination site address let's see how to create this flow so go to that power automate and click on that install cloud flow and give a flow name that is copy folders suppose i am giving a flow name that is copy folders and files and select the mm, trigger click on the create once the trigger is added to our flow let's go to click on the new step in the new step we will add another action that is get folder metadata so we can find this action under the SharePoint connector this one get folder metadata it will helps to get the information about the folder so for this first we will we have to give the site address so this will be our source site address so so the source site address is so now uh, then in the file identifier we are using the file identifier because it will pick the file so click on that so picker and click on and where is our files and under the file storage we can get the files this one so then we just uh, inserted our file folder then once this action is uh, get that metadata of the folder document so here yeah this one the copy document 
and if the uh, another folder is already there then it will copy with a new name so we selected this one and that's it click on save so once it will save now the it is recommending us to test the flow so let's see click on test and test it manually click on run flow and and it will check whether the our it will check the permission of connect connectors and then yeah here we go it is uh it's all okay then click on continue and then run flow and then click on done so within a few seconds it will copy that folders and and the files from source lo location to destination location so here it is almost done then let's refresh it and yes within a few seconds ago so that means our four folders within the subfolders and files everything is copied from the source location to destination location